Hello, my name's uh, Jonathan Leonard. I'm from the Earthbyte Group, and welcome to the G Plates tutorials. Today, we're going to be going through uh, tutorial 1.1, which is simply uh, loading feature collections into G Plates. So, if you want to go along with the um, text tutorial, which these tutorials will be following, just go to the G Plates website, or you can go to the Earthbyte website and go to the user docs and um, get onto the introductory tutorials page and today we're just looking at tutorial 1.1 which is loading and saving data and changing colors so when you can download the sample data you may also like to download the PDF of the uh, text tutorial and follow along with that I've already downloaded the sample data as they can be they can take a while to load and this is it here so um, there's only two files in this one and they're both GPML files, which stand for uh, GPlates Markup Language, which is just the native language that GPlates likes to use. So we've got two GPML files. We've got the coastlines, and we've also got the mid-ocean ridges. And I'm going to show you how to load these onto GPlates, and then how to uh, use them and uh, look at them in more in a more cl clear and concise way um, from using colors and things like that. So let's open GPlates. And as you can see, there isn't much going on. You can drag around, but um, yeah, it's just a it's just a pretend globe at the moment. So to load up our GPML files, we'll go to File, Open Feature Collection, and I'm not sure if that worked. Yep, that worked. Navigate to our GPML files, and let's open both at the same time and as you can see here um, we've got coastlines going around but we've also got these squiggly lines which are are the mid-ocean ridges and uh, at the moment it's quite confusing to tell what's what but we'll get to that in a second um, one other thing that we saw was um, that layer window that came up uh, which is right here and if you want to kind of have a look at the uh, one layer and not the other, it's pretty easy. All you have to do is press this little eye here. So let's turn off the mid-ocean ridges. And as you can see here, we're just uh, we're just looking at the coastlines. And if we turn off the coastlines and turn on the mid-ocean ridges, we're just looking at a bunch of squiggly lines that represent those mid-ocean ridges along here. So let's turn both on again. If you want to see both at the same time, um, we can also... Um, change the colors around. So if we go to features, manage coloring, and let's just choose one, let's choose the coastlines and we'll go to single color and make them uh, black. And then we'll go to the mid-ocean ridges and we'll go to a single color and maybe make them white. And that looks, although less colorful, uh, a little bit more clearer so we can see quite easily what the coastlines are and what the mid-ocean ridges are. Okay, so another way we can manage this data is in the Manage Feature Collections window. So go to File um, or Control M, and press Manage Feature Collections, and we can see here that um, we can save it or save it as something else. So just say we want to add a feature into something, we can uh, save the. Um, just say we add a new coastline in or add a new mid ocean ridge in. Um, so we add a new mid ocean ridge in, but we don't want to get rid of the old mid ocean ridge file. We can press save as and just maybe like right underscore copy at the end and you'll have two files there um, so that's pretty cool and if you want to get rid of any of these files unload them just press this eject button and that's how you do it so uh, that's pretty much all there is to it that's tutorial 1.1 thank you for watching